Hey there, Cancer. Hope you guys this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for your highest good at this time. This is for my beautiful sign of Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer. Tell about Cancer, please. Oh, new love. A proposal in love. One more. Look at this. Date night for you. All right. Okay, there's some kind of like, man, what I'm really getting off of this, like this new person's addicted to you. Like, this is like, man, this is somebody here that is like, I feel like this, this new person has been giving up some kind of toxic attachment so they can come towards you is what I'm really getting off of that. What's the overall energy here for um, cancer? Gratitude, thankful for the life, thankful for the opportunities that are presenting themselves in your life. Showing that gratitude, showing that thanks, you're you're bringing more towards you. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy and that's what you've been doing. You've been making peace and you are attracting love. Like, man, you're attracting like wholesome, pure love towards you. And you've been embracing your, your rebirth, your transformation. You've been learning that endings are making room for new things. I feel like this new person is literally like ending everything that's like anything around them that will try to like, like anything that gets in the way from them from coming towards you is what this person's willing to get rid of. Ow, that's adorable. No longer... No longer letting anybody make you feel guilty for the choices that you're making. And this is clearly releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth here. Man, I feel like this new person isn't letting anybody like guilt trip them either. Like this new person wants you. Like man, having this inner strength to face fear with confidence. So you've been having this inner courage to like embrace your transformation, let go of things that are no longer serving you. And this new person finds you very, very, very headstrong, very confident. Like they see you very courageous. Like it's almost like you're, you're lighting a spark in this new person to want to be their best selves as well. All right. I like it. Cancer. Cancer. Freedom and greatness. That's what you've been working on. Like you've been working on breaking free. Like there's something here where you're just not, you're not letting anything hinder your growth anymore. You are stepping into your full potential at this time. And this new energy is doing the same thing. I keep getting like, like this new person is like, I don't know. This new person views you as, they just view you as their everything. Let me get another one. True companions. Man, I can't make this stuff up. True companions who are true to each other. That's what you have coming towards you. A true companion. Something here about somebody didn't comprehend something towards you and now they're realizing they're getting the bigger picture. Somebody is now realizing. And you already know what to do now. So you're going to know what you need to do. Like This is like not letting anybody make you feel guilty for the choices that you're making here. Especially when it comes to your love life. Like, there's been, like, a lot of opinions that have been trying to be placed on your love life. Like, love life. Like, who you're supposed to be dating. Like, don't date this person. Date that person. You both could have been dealing with this. Definitely one of you have been. And somebody's realizing that I'm tired of people trying to tell me what to do with my life here. So, that's why you've got somebody here that is, like, really releasing anything that tries to get in the way of union with you. Time to step out of the confusion. That's what you've been doing. You've been... So when we're going through our transformation and we go through our awakening, all things will start getting confusing. You're not going crazy. So if you start seeing things, just, just know that you're not going crazy. So embrace your journey. You've been stepping out of confusions just with everything, let's just say. This new person is stepping out of some kind of confusion on how they feel about you. Like this new person is like getting getting away from anybody that tries to cause them any type of confusion. Because for somebody here, there was already some confusion that was trying to like get in the way of this connection. Cancer. Cancer. Nurturing. 
I am connected to my feminine side. I balance caring for others as well as nurturing my own needs. So you have definitely been called to like no longer deplete your energy for energies that are no longer like giving that back to you. This is like learning to really connect with your feminine side, really like stepping into that softer side. Now for you feminines watching, I am picking up that this new person coming towards you is going to let you step into your feminine energy. A lot of you feminines watching are operating out of your masculine energy where you're the provider, you're the protector. So when we get a high vibing masculine energy coming towards us, we can let down our masculine energy and step into our feminine energy like we're supposed to. Now for you masculines watching, there's something about a masculine energy really tapping into their feminine energy as well. Stepping into that softer side so they can open up and be vulnerable and show emotion with you. That's what this new person, oh, I'm getting chills. That's what this new person is trying to do. Like they want to nurture you. They, man, you bring out a nurturing side to this masculine energy. Like, and then the way that the feminine is like, I don't know. It's like this masculine wants to nurture you and the way that you help nurture this masculine. It's, it's very, I don't know. I love it. It's very, oh, it's just, it's good stuff. Let's say it like that. It's good stuff. Detoxifying, releasing things of a lower frequency and raising my vibration. So only positive energy surrounds me. So you have been releasing things, calling in higher frequency things including this love coming towards you. Now I keep getting this, this new energy is like releasing things that would get in the way of this connection. That's how important you are to somebody. Oh, it's so adorable. A good fortune. As I'm grateful for all the good fortune I have, more blessings flow into my life. That's why gratitude is so important. Be thankful for everything you have. By being thankful, you are attracting more of this energy towards you. Like this new person's part of your, your, your good things. A lot of you guys are like creating like financial security for yourself, but this new person is going to help you make, it's going to help you feel more secure. Like, I don't know. They're just going to add more to you. They already view you as valuable, but they want to add more to it. What needs to be surrendered for cancer? Surrender to the wander and all. Opening to the magic of moments. Let me say that again. Open to the magic of moment and sense in the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So this is like, I really feel like my feminines have been like this. I don't know, like you've been the hero in your life. And it's like you're attracting a hero. Like this, man, this new person is just in so much awe of you. Like they view you as magical, strong, a leader, like you're this person's dream gal, dream guy. That's what this person thinks about you. Ow, it's so cute. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So where you've been on your journey, the people that you've come across, every person that was put in your path has been there to teach you something about yourself. Some people come into our life has blessings. Some come into our life has lessons. Now, I feel like this new energy is a blessing for you. Like this is something heaven sent. Like this person's so serious about you that they're really, they're, they're getting rid of anything that would try to get in the way of this. This is about embracing your soul's path. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and being and enjoying this inner refuge, this inner refuge. Others will feel your, go, your good vibes too and you're going to attract more good vibes towards you. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're just calling in good things because you're, you, you have been obtaining this inner peace and surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or relationship. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So this new love coming towards you is a complete change from what you're used to dealing with. So don't let this, this like embrace the change, embrace this, this change with this love department clearly here. I feel like this new person has had some kind of like fear of change 
and you have been, man, like you're helping this person make changes. Like, like you are helping this new person just grow and evolve is what I'm getting. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. So there's something here about no longer causing any conflicts with um, connections that are around you. There's something here about you learning how to communicate in a more empowered way. So you're not like something about not, not being rigid, but yielding. So if this new person, like there's something about your communication style, like this new person is like even changing up, like, like this new person's changing up everything for you. My gosh. Tell me about this new love. Childlike. Yes. Page of Wands. Childlike. Fun. Flirtatious. It's, oh, it just gives you butterflies, man. That's what this new person, like, you make this person feel like a kid. I feel like you both make each other feel like a kid. It's, man, it's very passionate, very playful. Tell me more. This is somebody wanting to send a message out to you. Like, you guys are going to have good conversations. Like, you're both... There's something about humor. You both have humor and you both bring out like this, I don't know, like this goofball energy within each other. It's very adorable. Tell me more. Ow, it's so cute. I love this energy. Tell me more. This is a loyal, stable offer in the love department. This is somebody that's all about trust, stability, loyalty, like you are. That's what you, man, this person's serious about you. Like this person ain't playing games. Like, they're coming. They're coming correct. This is somebody that wants to have a conversation with you. This is somebody that sees you in this energy where, man, this person knows that you have been through some tough things. Like, they can sense it. They can see it. They can feel it. There is conversations. There's something about your the way you both are going to be able to conversate to each other. It's like you both are going to bring out your your softer sides of each other. Some of you guys are dealing with the same sex relationship. You don't have to be. This person, okay, so what this, what I'm really getting off of this, this new love, like you are in this, you're in this energy where boundaries are enforced. Like you are the provider, you are the protector energy. So this person is going to learn how to pull you into this passionate energy. Like this person is like going to spark a, a like, the attraction between you two is like undeniable. They're going to be able to pull a side out of you that you thought was gone forever. There was definitely some kind of like, there was something that was like either on your end or this new person's end. There was a hater in the background trying to get in the way of this connection here. Both you and this new person have been doing a lot of healing work. Like this new person is going to remove anything that tries to get in the way of this connection. That's how much you mean to this person. Like, that's how much they feel like, that's that's what they feel like you deserve. Like, this new person isn't playing about you. Proposal. A wish come true when it comes to a, a, a love connection. Tell me about proposal. This is somebody that's going to want to work and build with you. Like, this is somebody that's going to really, like, this person wants this with you. Like, they want something solid with you. Like, this new love is going to end in, like, engagement, marriages for you. Tell me more about proposal. This person's romantic. You bring out this person's romantic side, and I feel like they're going to do that for you as well. Tell me more about proposal. Six of Pentacles. This is an equal give and take. This is somebody that's, I got your back, you got mine. Oh, man, this is something that you are not used to dealing with. Like, this is a whole new level of unconditional love. This is somebody that's fully invested into you. This is somebody that likes what you do. They like what they see. They like how you've pulled yourself out of some challenging times. Man, this person is fully invested into you. So, the, man, you knocked this person off, off balance in a good way. Like, you, man, you knocked them right off of their path. Like, they never thought that they were going to open their self up like they are to you two of cups i'm telling you this is like a a solid partnership pouring into me i pour into you like man this is beautiful there was a lot of strength there is going to be a lot of strength that needs to 
to when we, when you're used to dealing with toxic and you have something healthy come towards you, you both are going to have to learn to communicate differently, show up to the relationship differently, especially if you both have been dealing with like bad connections. Man, this person is like it, they the the way that they feel when they are next to you or this is how they're going to feel like they cannot hold back from you like they man this person wants you so there was a lot of like you make this person really in, like you make this person overthink like they think every little detail when it comes to you this person's adorable man this is somebody here that is like a planner like they make sure that everything that they want to happen is going to go perfect like there's something about this person that like especially when it comes to you like they have to make sure that they have everything laid out perfectly for you ow high priestess this person just feels some kind of like connection with you that they've never felt before so there's definitely no communication right now between the two of you but that's about to change Good tower coming in. Like you knocked this person like in a good way. Like they never thought that they were going to open themselves up and you changed everything. This person's in their head like, oh, it's it's very nervous energy. They've never encountered energy like this. Like you brought up feelings that they never thought they were going to feel before. And this is somebody that wants to come towards you. Like they're... Man, this is somebody that's been really thinking about this and now they're ready to take action towards you. Tell me about this date. This is somebody that wants to take you out on a date. They want to meet up. They want to court you. Yes, the sun. This is, this is something that's about to be eliminated for you. This is somebody that's definitely wanting to ask you out on a date. Like, it's almost like this new person is like, if they know that there are other people interested in you, they're trying to remove anybody else and I feel like they've been doing this in their life as well if there was other energies around them they're getting rid of them tell me more this is somebody that's like I don't know like the first time that you guys go on a date experience each other this is somebody that's hooked like they you make this person feel stuck but in a good way this is the type of person that's going to change your perspective about love in general. A lot of healthy communication taking place between the two of you. You both know how to stimulate each other's mind. All right. You both know how to stimulate each other's mind. You both are going to have good conversation with each other. There was some guarded energy here. That could have been like... So there's... There's something here about this person, like, this person was, like, guarded. You could have been guarded. Like, they were trying to, like, they were trying to get rid of anything that was going to try to create blockages with you. This new person's a protector. Like, they don't play around about you. This is somebody here, when they, when they get a hold of you, they're coming in hot. They view you as self-sufficient, self independent, available, you, you you look good to this person. They like what you do. They they like how you operate. So this is like two people that are open and available that are able to like experience each other. Man, tell me about these addictions. Now, what I really feel like is you've been letting go of toxic attachments and so has this new person. Tell me about that addiction. Could have been drugs, could have been alcohol. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of burdens being released. So for some of you, you picked up some more bad habits because of an old connection that you dealt with. You didn't learn, like you, you've learned now, but you didn't know before the way to process your feelings. Like, and you've done change things up tremendously for yourself. This past person has had some kind of baggage and burdens also with the past connection that also has made them lean into like toxic things to like cope, like using substances to like, and it doesn't even have to be like drinking or like drugs. It could just be like overworking, like running from themselves, like just like distracting themselves from their healing work. And then they run across you and they can't do that anymore. 
This is somebody that is releasing everything that's trying to get in the way of this connection. That's so freaking cute. This energy is so cute. This, I'm telling you, you both have been walking away from these toxic attachments. Like, you've been doing this in your own life, and this new person's been doing the same thing. Could have been some, like, lust-based energy that you both had to get rid of. Or just one of you. Man, there is a passionate new beginning coming in here. Like, this person has never thought about changing everything up in their life until they met you. So... Man, you both are like going to be like changing each other. You both already have been changing. But when you come together, like you both are going to change that much more. And it's for both of your guys' highest good. I've got fire, earth, 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 earth again, water, Leo, air, earth, Pisces, Leo again, Pisces again, fire and earth here. Both have been releasing toxic attachments. The person's got a crush on you. They, they cannot stop. Hold, they can no longer hold back how they feel about you. This is somebody that wants to come in and speak their truth. They want to bring some clarity here. This is somebody that views like a perfect home life with you. This is somebody here that knows that you want something solid and they want that too. Man. Cancer. Forward movement. You both have been doing things to take action about making changes in your life. This person is coming towards you now because they know that they've got to make a move towards you. They're coming towards you. There is some kind of divine hand over your life. I feel like both of you have over your lives. Both are like, both are learning to get rid of past connections that are no longer serving and attracting better things and you both are in this energy of wanting better and you and this new person are clearly each other's love choice whether you realize that or not this person chooses you they see a commitment with you they admire you this is somebody here that just admires everything that you are what you practice what you preach everything like this person is so into you you both are connected in like I don't know. You both are connected in with some kind of higher realms. There's something about you and their their energy, like the way you guys are connected. Like it's very powerful. Could be some like religious beliefs, like some kind of differences in views. You may have changed somebody's views. You, this new person may change your views on things. There's something about both learning up, both learning up, both opening up to changes, both being okay with other people's views on things. Like there's something here about embracing both of your guys's where you come from, your roots. Red flags and deception. So there was definitely something here that was trying to get in the way of this connection at one time. Now both are being given signs by the universe. This person's getting signs by you. Like this person's been getting rid of any type of red flag to get in the way of this my gosh signs and synchronicities so you both are being guided towards each other like this person is like seeing things that are letting them know go towards your person and you could be seeing this as well like you both are tapped in both are tapped in completely this is somebody here that is like they're not they don't want to give up like this is somebody that's going to completely come in here and conquer you perfect match Great chemistry, highly compatible, a quick connection. For some of you, this is your twin flame. This is your yin to your yang. This is literally your mirrored soul. This is somebody here that has not experienced a connection like you before. This is a person that's part of your manifestations. You both have been manifesting each other, whether you realize that or not. You have been. You both are manifesting your dream life, and you both are each other's Part of each other's dream. Ow, that's so adorable. This energy is so adorable. Friends, friends turn into lovers. Friends could have been trying to get in the way of this connection. But you guys are going to like, this is going to be like your best friend, your lover, your everything. And they are you too. This is so freaking adorable. Rebirth process. You both have been going through a rebirth. Both have been discovering who you are. Both have been going through that dark night of the soul. 
Woo, you both. You, you've made an impact on this person. You both are making impacts on each other. Man. Cancer. So there was some, some crap talking trying to like get in the way of this. So I don't know if it was on your end or this other person's end, but there was some, some energies that weren't happy for this, let's just say. So there could have been like some talking crap about somebody trying to say that you were an opportunist, that you were going to use them. Somebody's realizing that's not true. Like this person is, they cannot stop thinking about you. They wake up, they think about you. They go to bed, they think about you. And probably when they dream, they dream about you. This person is getting some kind of evidence on what this connection is and what you mean to them. Tell me more. Okay, so there was like some energies here that were talking crap, saying that you're a show off, that you act this way, you act that way. You're not acting anyways. You like what you like. And that's what this new person's realizing, that you're not trying to show off for anybody. Or if there was crap talking on your end, you're realizing that this new person wasn't showing off either. They like what they like. Tell me more. Somebody tried to move. Somebody tried to force somebody's opinion about this connection. Tried to get somebody to move away from you. Tried to force. Like there was some energies, whether it's you, the other person, or both of you. Trying to like keep somebody stuck in this low vibing energy. Like this party scene. So I'm telling you, this new energy is not trying to force anything. And they are releasing anything that's getting in the way of this. Like, my gosh. Tell me more. And there's an offer coming towards you. This person wants to present an offer towards you. This energy knows that... I, this new energy knows that something was, like, played out. Like, they know that... They know that... You've been through some things and so have they. Like you both have been in this energy of both just played out. Like you're just done dealing with the energies that you both have dealt with. Somebody's getting some kind of proof about you. Like this person's really like, they're gaining some information about what this connection is. And you've been over here dusting, dusting things off. Like you're not caring what anybody's saying about you. And this person admires that the way that you're able to just not give a crap. They admire that. They want to be that way too. They could already be that way for some of you. This one's been creeping in the background, watching, looking in your comments, trying to see who's talking to you, what you got going on, because this person just can't stop thinking about you. Both of you guys have had some kind of ego death. Both are learning not to operate out of ego. That person's in their head about you. This person has to like ground their energy. You both are going to have to because the way that you guys are when you are in the same room together, oh, it's very powerful. Just let me say it like that. Very powerful. And there was some haters that were trying to get in the way of this connection. So there was just people that didn't, didn't maybe understand spirituality. They could have tried to paint you out as something dark, but you're very magical. You're very powerful. And this new person views you as this. They want back. So this person is wanting back in. There was some sh some wolves in sheep's clothing trying to get in the way of you and this new person's connection. But they aren't able to have that impact anymore. Cancer. Man. This new person's very... This new person thought that this was just lust. But this is like an intimate connection. And this new person's realizing this. There was some gossiping, talking about, like, someone was getting in somebody's ear, whether it was yours or this other person I'm picking up on. Like, people were trying to make it seem like this is just lust. You're just attracted to this person. That's all that is. And somebody's realizing that it is more than that. And it is. It's this. It's chemistry. It's attraction. There's magnet, a strong magnetic pull between the two of you. Tell me more. Both of you guys have been broken. Both of you guys have been hurt, destroyed even. So this, it's like this, this new person is like realizing that 
you've been through some things, especially if this person's your twin flame. Oh, you both have been through the same things. You both have the same core wounds. Tell me more. This person's wanting to make new This <laughs> Let me say that again. Like, I'm getting tongue-tied because this new person, like, it's very, it's a nerve-wracking energy, but it's good nerves. You both have been learning to release old memories of, like, past pain and hurt and sorrow. So, both are wanting, like, both are in this energy of just wanting new things. And you both are going to be contributing to these new memories with each other. So there was some cycles that needed to be closed out, whether it was on your end, their end, or both of your guys' end. So there was like a waiting energy that needed to happen. This person just finds you everything in their book. Beautiful. Oh, they just, they just find you beautiful on the inside and out. And it's made somebody feel conflicted because of this. They really thought that all it was was just a strong attraction, but it's more than that. Tell me more. Somebody's getting some kind of clarity now. So if this person ran from you for because of there was awkward silence or you ran from them, there's clarity coming out about this connection. There was some fear trying to be, whether it was on your end, their end, or both of your guys' end. And then there was some outside influences that were trying to add more to the fear. So both have abandonment issues. Both have codependency issues. And both have been learning to heal and grow from these issues. There was some distracting energy that tried to create some kind of delays, some kind of setbacks. Both have been learning to, to go, like, create, like, not create, but give give themselves closure from, we want to call them karmic energies that they were dealing with. Both are learning to turn their back on these karmic energies and give themselves closure. There was so much deception and just so much trickery trying to get in the way of this connection. But it was like used for both of your guys' benefits so you guys could step more into your healing. Man, this new person is like getting rid of any kind of like trickster energy is around them. And so are you. You both are healing. There was some confusion. There was a lot of confusions. Things were uncertain and unclear and they're not anymore. Like this new person is coming towards you to like... They're, they're taking down this, it's like it's a mask, but it's not a bad mask. They're taking off the mask of, of hiding their feelings for you. They can't hide, your, hide their feelings for you anymore. Shadow work for cancer. Divine juggling. Master different aspects of yourself, both light and dark. Progress, inner harmony. And that's what you both have been doing. Both have been embracing your, your light and your shadow side. Tell me more. Positive change. This is what you have coming towards you because you both are learning that you can have that and that you are welcoming that. That's why it's coming. Transform pain into strength. Empower yourself. Ascension, evolution, freedom. That's what you and this new person have been going through. Both have been transforming. Both have been turning their pain into power. Emotional release, letting go, creates space for new beginnings. Cathetris, I'm not going to say that. Cath Catharsis, oh, I'm not saying that right. Purification, I can say that one right. <laughs> letting go of old emotional triggers and traumas that you've been holding on to. I feel like you both are like, you both bring up things that you thought were just done and over with, things that have lied dormant inside your vessels, you both are like bringing up to the surface. And that's what's supposed to happen. You both are learning to create, like you both are learning to create new space by releasing things of the past so you can open up and have new healthy things. Confront fears. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. Bravery, healing, reclaiming. So there was some fear-based energy that you both had to, to confront or just one of you. So this person views you as their treasure. Like this person is like putting on their brave energy because they see you doing this and they're coming in to claim you. Man. Self-reflection. Looking inward helps you see what to improve to make better choices, awareness, improvement. And that's what you both have been doing. 
really looking at your life, looking at things that you've been through, what you're feeling, and just wanting to improve from that. And that's why you have improvement. I'm telling you, there's something about you and this new person that are both tapped in, like the cosmic realm. It's very powerful energy. To embrace the light, first acknowledge the dark. Trauma, seeing, go deeper. So you both have been through some trauma. Both are seeing things differently now. Both are learning to go deeper to heal the traumas that you both have been holding on to. And that's why this new energy is going to help. I don't know. It's going to help you transform more. You both are meant to help each other transform. Like it's already happening. Like this new energy is getting rid of anything that will try to get in the way of this connection. That's how important you are to this person. That's so adorable, man. All right, beautiful Cancer. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you guys Wednesday.